Hey guys, it's me Kay and you've arrived at my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. Today I am going to take you on a tour of my booth at a local antique mall. You guys have been asking to see this over on my Instagram, which if you're not following me, I will leave that in the description box below. It's about a little after 10 right now and they open at 10 on Saturdays, which this is a Saturday. And I'm about to head over, but first I'm going to show you a couple of the things I'm bringing to stock in my booth today. I will also bring you on a tour of my little tiny space there and probably do a voiceover so that I don't have to talk in front of other humans that are shopping. And I might also take you around to see like some of the other booths that are in there from the other vendors and then once I get my printout of my sales I'll go over some of the trends that I'm seeing sell in my booth and talk about some of the items that I've sold so I'll see you in the next clip bye okay so I apologize in advance if this clip gets a little shaky I'm just holding it with one hand and then trying to go through some stuff so this is my little quick cart that I found at a local savers it was ten dollars and I had 20% off so about eight bucks and I love this it just rolls all my stuff around to the booth so in here I have this little brass vase number, um, this little elephant figurine from Livy's room. If you're not following me, I've been going through some of Livy's stuff because she has way too many things in her room. This is like a faux orchid and with spring coming I figured I might bring that to the booth. This is a little round fat cat, also from Livy's room. There's a bunch of doilies in here. These have been selling really well in my booth. I have a set of little Japanese teacups. Um, this is a large um, wicker, it's like seagrass though material. Uh, serving tray, I also have another wooden divided tray there. And a little tea canister. That's about all I'm bringing today. I don't want to overload the booth because I have run into problems before where it gets too cluttered and then it's harder for people to shop that way. So I try to just bring over a few things at a time and I go once a week so I'm able to just restock very frequently. And I will see you there. All right, here's a quick tour of my booth, number 57. Lots of baskets and wicker, some blankets. There was something on this back wall that was sold I'll talk about later. A corner shelf and I do have this little mid-century table out here that's in the walkway and I did move my sign to the front because it was a little bit buried okay so now you're just gonna see me rearrange some stuff I move those puzzles over because that coat rack that was hanging in the back on the back wall was sold a lot of the items that were hanging from it had to be reorganized and I do this every time I come in sometimes buyers are messy and they pick something up and put it down sometimes it's even something from someone else's booth which happened today and I replaced it it was just two booths down from mine um, but I do like to keep everything at least somewhat organized it is still a little bit cluttered for me you can see me move this little beaded garland to a different container and now we're just gonna go on a tour from all the booths here's the end of the row that I'm on coming around the corner lots of wicker some big furniture a collection of life magazines they do have some of the glass cabinets that require a staff member to open with a key I like this one that's coming up on the left a lot of like rocker type stuff in here upcycled furniture I actually might go look at this little tiny nightstand right here when I go back tomorrow because it's really cute and I don't know how I missed it big farmhouse theme here lots of books there are several vendors who have just books Again, more upcycled furniture. I bought a few things from this one straight ahead. Here are some of the glass booths. This is a lot of collectibles, mostly some jewelry. And we're just keep walking along, checking things out. I tried not to linger too long because the store was pretty busy, even though you don't see that many people in any of these clips because I tried to do my best to avoid them. And this room that's going to be straight ahead, that's actually the front room where you first walk into the building. And there are a couple vendors in here, but bigger booths.
Okay, so they were out of paper today, so I wasn't able to get a printout, unfortunately, but she did show me the screen of like my recent sales from the last time that I went there, which was last Sunday. But a few things have sold, so I had these two little brass propeller, like boat propeller um, candlestick holders, and those sold, I think I marked those at $21.95, if I remember from looking at the sheet. I, again, I apologize that I don't have the paper in front of me, but unfortunately there's nothing I can do about that. Um, and I did have this rustic farmhouse like coat hanger. I had a bunch of different um, knobs on it to hang coats or whatever. I had that up on the back wall of my booth and that was gone. That sold. Um, more doilies sold, as I said in the beginning part of the video when I was showing you what I was bringing. Those have been selling like hotcakes. Um, I sold an elephant teapot, which I already sold the smaller version um, earlier in the month, and then I sold the big, like, mama one um, since I last was there. And let's see, I don't remember. If I can remember when I get home, if I still have the last paper, um, from Sunday's visit I will show you what it looks like and um, get back to you on some other things that sold because it's escaping me right now but I wanted to hop on here and just talk a little bit about what sold in the last week and I will catch you in the next clip when I get home bye all right guys so as you can see I am back home I located the last two weeks worth of printouts from the booth so I have the one from the 17th of January here here is what it looks like. It's just a breakdown of items. Um, my inventory numbers, the date sold, and the price. And then here is the one from the 24th. So on the 17th, the total that I had after credit card fees, so I don't pay any commissions, but I do pay a 3% fee if someone purchases one of my items and uses a credit card to pay. So I had $214.82 as of the 17th. And as of the 24th, I had $309.36. And then today when I looked at the screen, since I couldn't get the printout of the report, I was at 420 and some change. So that's a big jump. That's almost 100, actually that's more than $100 from last Sunday. So that is great. I know I did sell the propellers and um, I sold a basket that was made in New Zealand. I think I priced that at like $35. So that's like 50 and change there. Um, I can't remember what else I saw on the sheet aside from I knew the teapot had sold. So I'm super excited. Uh, my booth is, I think, seven by three or eight by three, something along those lines. And I pay $135 a month. So I started in November. That was when I first opened. And I think I signed the contract on the seventh. So they prorated me for the month of November and I paid 13350 dollars but going forward is $135 per month. I do have the smallest booth, so what will happen when I get paid is that they'll take whatever the sales amount was, less the credit card fees, and then they'll take out the $135 for the month of February, um, and then I will get a check. If I don't hit that $135 mark, I would have to pay them more money um, come February 1st in order to keep my booth. So I have 30 days to cancel should I ever decide to cancel. I can upgrade my booth at any time and it's been pretty great so far this is going to be my best month so far at the booth and I'm super excited to see how it progresses throughout the year and I'm hoping that I can keep this going and keep my booth because I really enjoy it as you might have seen in some of the footage I tried to shoot within the store it's pretty big uh, they do have one section when you first walk in and then you go through this doorway and then there's a whole bigger section that's where I am and they do have a lot of boho upcycled vintage stuff people do also sell collectible stuff there I know of at least one booth that has all wrestling memorabilia in it uh, a lot of like blow mold type things for Christmas Halloween and uh, let's see what I'm trying to think a lot of upcycled furniture there are a couple people I follow that are local to that uh, antique mall and they buy stuff paint it make it look nice sell it in the booth it does really well there um, but I do see some new stuff I walked by one of the booths today and they had uh, a lot of clothing, vintage clothing, and I saw a Wild Fable top in there that they wanted $20 for, so that was a little bit off. 
Um, that's probably what it cost in the store, 20 to 25 bucks at Target, and obviously it's not vintage or old in any way, shape, or form, so I'm not sure why it's there, but to each their own, I guess. Um, but like I said, I really enjoy it. It is a little bit on the expensive side from what I've seen online, but it's the one that's closest to me and it's always busy. Every time I go there, the parking lot is packed, which is great for me. I'm making sales and I really do hope that I can make this like a regular thing and keep it going indefinitely and I'm just really enjoying it. So let's go over some more things that sold. Um, a lot of wicker, I do put a lot of baskets in there. I myself have a basket wall at home. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen it. Um, but those do sell. I sold some wicker plates. I've sold a couple wreaths. I had a preserved boxwood wreath that I sold for $10, $9.95. And I had another one that was more Christmassy that sold, I think, in December. I did also sell some puzzles. I had a group of, I think, six or eight Disney um, press board puzzles, like those old wooden puzzles from when I was a kid, and they were from the 80s and 90s. I sold those for $26.95. If you couldn't tell, I end all of my prices in 95 cents. I don't know why, it just makes it a little bit different from $7 or $8. I sold a few brass items, uh, candlesticks, other brass things. I sold a mid-century lamp. Uh, I loved this lamp. I picked it up from the bins actually. It was like alternating discs of black and then like acacia wood. And it was really great. I sold it the same day that I put it in the booth for $34.95. That's a great return since I got it from the bins for about a dollar. I sold a little muffinier shaker. It was pink. I got that for free and it sold for $26.95. I sold a Christmas tree candle, also sold a bag of assorted ornaments. That was on the second, so must have been someone just trying to get some more things for Christmas before they pack away all their Christmas stuff. I did sell a Santa at the at the middle of the month. So I'm happy with that, things are moving. I do still have quite a bit of stuff in my shed that I need to bring over, so I'm not going to the bins until that stuff is at the booth and or sold because I have a tendency to just pile, 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 pile in my cart when I go to the bins because everything is so cheap and I can find some great stuff that I can maybe try out and see how it does without much of a risk involved. And I really wanna get this stuff out of my shed so that I can go to the bins and I'm looking forward to seeing how things go this year with the booth and I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it and subscribe for more content in the future. I appreciate everyone's comments. Um, I don't get that many of them, but I do try to respond to all of them and I will see you in the next one. Bye.